Doug Marks. Well, I come all the way out here. My GPS navigation thing about <laughs> killed the battery on my smartphone. And thinking my uh, cover was safe, I get up here and find that I found out uh, by everyone. <laughs> Go home and just start selling tickets to get into my basement. <laughs> okay, I got rid of my saloon singer uh, attire. And now I can, uh, as my friend Rob would say, I put my take my poet's cap. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to be here. Uh, the one thing that I was certain I wanted to uh, say beforehand, I got to check and see what time it is. So I know Chris really has got the trains running on time around here, which I really appreciate. Uh, but I do remember over 10 years ago when Chris arrived and uh, showed up in the Portland area and told, told me that he was living in Vancouver. Of course, I teased him mercilessly about that. What are you going to do out there, man? And, uh, <laughs> by golly, he really did something. <laughs> and you all should give uh, Chris and Tony one hell of a round of applause because enough in this world just being a poet to put a whole scene together is something else. <laughs> I'm really impressed. Okay, well, 20 minutes. It's almost too much time. Uh, my life's, uh, I thought my life was woo-woo enough. Uh, <laughs> the last 60 some odd years, and then uh, several months ago, it got even worse, and this guy started talking to me. Uh, and his poems started coming, and a little later on, he told me his name. His name's Mr. Moo. And uh, so, Mr. Moo has sort of been my sidekick the last few months. Uh, I'm not going to gloss this fella too much, but Mu is spelled M-U, and uh, it's the Korean equivalent of the Chinese word Wu, which I'm sure most of you have come across once in a while, reading around in sort of American Zen and stuff like that. Wu in uh, Chinese and Mu in Korean is essentially a word that means not, or non, or non-being, it's a negative word, and so if you come across the phrase Wu Wei, for instance, in uh, Chinese literature, it means non-action. So that gives you enough of a sense, I think, about uh, this name, and I think rather than just talk about him, I'll read the poems and introduce you to him that way. I was going to beat you over the head with a lot of really profound darkness tonight, but there's a yellow half moon shining out there and a clear sky and it's pretty cool, so I think I'll leave uh, grief and gravity to the side for a while. You all hear me out there? Right? I don't know, when I'm on stage singing, I'm usually off the mic like this, so I'm not used to trusting a microphone. It's called Mr. Moo Goes to the Mall. And here we are. Wandering among the computers, Mr. Moo wonders, could he buy a surge protector for his heart? Rather, something in him wonders, worries. Barely awake this morning, he succumbed to a roadside plum, blossoming pink under a dry gray sky, and swooned, lightheaded as a dandelion gone to seed for the evolutionary sake of being plucked by a child and blown away. So, uh, uh, 
here's a bunch of these, and they come at you about, you know, it takes about 30 seconds to read them. <laughs> so, you can go ahead and just listen to them if you want, and you don't have to worry about clapping for Mr. Moo all the time, because you might get an extra poem out of it at the end. <laughs> this is called, uh, Mr. Moo's Ego. Once he took fairness out of the mix and quit shaking his fist at the sky, Mr. Ma, Mr. Moo saw through himself and gave up the long view. Goodbye, Sergeant. So long, Kamu. Just beyond the tip of his nose, a couple of crows are into some serious tug of war. Over the guts of a squirrel who couldn't get the hang of cars. A pickup guns it, and the crows lift in unison with a sweep of their black capes, like matadors in the slipstream. Ole, he shouts, ole, as they drift back down to the carcass. Mr. Moo could be a crow, or a sparrow. He has a bird for every mood. The older he gets, the more he loves his irrelevance. Just a bubble in the wrap of space-time. Besides, he's got grandkids like rapids around his knees in glee. Watch me, they squeal. And he disappears into them. Yeah. <laughs> you can go ahead. You know. <laughs> By the way, I'm not trembling because I'm scared up here, mostly it's just a matter of sort of guilt, but uh, <laughs> somewhere along the line in recent years I was diagnosed with what's called benign essential tremor, which is harmless. I just take a lot of beta blockers, which cools me right out. <laughs> My wife and I call them chill pills. What do you take for it, Doug? Beta blockers. Uh, they slow your heart. They keep you from doing this. It's called Mr. Moo in practice. Mr. Moo is all practice, no theory. For instance, <laughs> he taught himself to subtract the 20th century from the 21st backwards, walking, beach <laughs> promenades lined with benches, each with its